Hi everyone! I want to share with you a really great brainstorming technique to help you with research papers. In this case it's a matrix chart and to make it the first thing I do is I want to insert a table and in this case I just want two columns and maybe four or five lines and I'm just going to click on this little like cross thing and I'm going to right click the mouse and I'm going to add the table properties as the row and specify the height as maybe 0 0.4. It's just a little bigger. And then I'm going to label this. Because the, the thing that you want to do with this paper is look at problems and the solutions. And the solutions come from either the, the theory behind why something helps or the organization uh, website or you know what the organization does themselves. So I'll explain a little more in a second. But that's how you make the matrix chart. And I have one already completed. And so what I've done is I've sort of brainstormed things that people with PTSD might have trouble with, things I've already kind of thought about. So some of them might not feel safe. Some of them might have sleep apnea or nightmares. Some might have anxiety. And so I started thinking about, well, how might dogs help? And I went on the organization's website and learned that dogs can be used as a guard, that dogs can alert owners when, you know, they're having trouble sleeping, and that dogs can be a comfort. And so what I've done is I've matched these up so that, you know, if you don't feel safe, then use a dog as a guard, right? If you're having nightmares or sleep apnea when you stop breathing at night, you can have a dog alert you. And then if you have anxiety, then you know you can use a dog as a comfort. And of course, for each of these points, you're going to be looking for research. So you might have this idea at first, but then you have to go online and get actual credible data and document it. And so this also helps you see where you have lots of information on some topic and maybe one doesn't have as much. And you might decide, well, I'm not going to use this topic because I don't have enough information. Another thing you need to decide is how you want to talk about it. You can decide that this becomes one paragraph. Part of the paragraph is how the veteran doesn't feel safe, and the other half is how a dog can be used as a guard. Okay? This one could be another paragraph on sleep apnea and nightmares and how dogs can alert their owners when they're having distress. So you can see how these become their own paragraphs. But you might decide that you want to talk about these separately because there's so much information that you would rather divide them up. So let's say you might have four paragraphs instead. So you might have one paragraph, two paragraphs, three paragraphs, four paragraphs, and you might decide to just not use this one altogether. It's really up to you. Another thing that this matrix chart helps you with is finding the data. You might have to do research just on information on those with PTSD who don't feel safe. And you might have to do research completely on just how are dogs trained to be guard dogs or to keep people safe. You might do research just on what is sleep apnea and how does that relate to PTSD. And on this side, you might just do research that has everything to do with how dogs are trained to alert owners when they're having distress during sleep. So sometimes the research might not have anything to do with PTSD, but just simply the theory of how dogs can help with X. The same holds true with art, like how is art helping with motor skills in the brain, right? You might have to just look up motor skills in the brain and how art therapy helps, or the theory of art therapy, or why yoga helps with anxiety, okay? So once you figure this out and you decide, okay, these might be their own separate paragraphs, I wanna talk about them separately, now it's time to reassemble this matrix chart in an outline. And so I have an outline here, and I've, you know, decided to make them all four separate paragraphs. 
and all I'm doing is creating my paragraph. So from the matrix chart, I say, okay, they don't feel safe, and I take my two quotes from here, I go into the outline, and I paste them here. Right? And then this one's going to be on how dogs can be guard dogs, because that's the next point. And then I'm going to copy and paste my quotes from the matrix chart, and I'm going to put them right in here, underneath that category. I might decide, you know what? I, I have a lot to say. I want to add this part, and I've now decided, you know what? I'm going to have these as, um, the, I'm going to combine these into their own paragraphs. So I might decide that I have three paragraphs now, rather than six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? I now just combine them to make three. I could do that in my outline. So what I would do is I would combine, oh, I'm sorry, I would combine this part here with this part here. And then I would take my quotes from here and put them here and combine that paragraph. And so now if I'm talking about sleep apnea, which is this point here, sleep apnea, and how dog, dogs can alert owners, I might decide that I don't want to talk about them separately, which I already have here, sleep apnea and dogs alerting owners. I might decide, you know what, I'm going to combine them. So instead I might pull this up here and combine the data and get rid of this paragraph. The most important thing is that this matrix chart helps you make decisions on how much information you're finding on each point. It helps you visualize how you might do the research. Maybe you do research just on this point separately from information on this point. It helps you know whether you want to combine information into paragraphs or whether you want to split them up into separate paragraphs. So like the, this green one would be separate from, let's say, this yellow one. So it really helps you decide, and it also allows you to know, well, how many paragraphs do you want in the paper? And then it allows you to then plot this down in a linear sense so that you can start to see the paper take shape in terms of paragraphs. So this helps you kind of conceptualize the points, and this will help you plot down those points and then figure out how you want to arrange that information. Do you want to combine paragraphs? Do you want to separate information? I really hope this helps. You're going to share this matrix with others and kind of compare information and how things are organized for the essay. This is very important to do as an initial step in the brainstorming process to help you figure out how to develop the outline. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, you know my door is always open. You can message me on Canvas anytime or stop by my office during my office hours listed on the syllabus. Have a great day.